shoulders. The three posture exercises for this week all focus on the spine. We're going to start on all fours with cats and dogs. We want the hands right under the shoulders and the knees right under the hips. And we start with a dog. And this is spinal extension. So I have a nice C curve in my vertebrae. My chin is tilted up and my tail is tilted up. And then at the same time, I'm going to drop my chin and my tail. And then I'm reversing the C curve in my spine, going to spinal flexion. Then I want to go back to extension. And the key here is to move the head and the tail at the same time so that we're teaching those vertebrae to really move as one supple unit. And when I'm here with my head up, I'm going to also squeeze my shoulder blades together. And then when my head is down, I'm going to let the shoulder blades spread apart so that my shoulder blades learn their relationship with the upper back. And that one feels heavenly on your spinal muscles. So 10 cats and dogs is how we're going to start. And then let's move the spine side to side with some windmills. Go ahead and stand against a wall so that you know that your body is in a straight line and that you're vertical. It's also going to protect the spine from shearing in, a, uh, in an unsafe way. So using the wall as my support, I'm going to laterally bend at the spine just until I know I feel a little stretch, but not injuring myself, of course, and then go to the other side. And we want to keep your hips and your shoulders and your head all on the wall while my arms slide with the movement coming from my spine. After 10 windmills, we're going to hold an overhead extension for 30 seconds. And this is a nice way to, again, extend those vertebrae. And I'm creating that kind of reverse C curve in my back. I'm going to hold here for about 30 seconds, really using my arms to reach high and exaggerating maybe that little arch in the lower back and then whatever's comfortable as far as a bend in your neck. Don't overdo it on your neck. Hold that for 30 seconds and then go back to the floor for cats and dogs, go back to the wall for windmills, and then you'll probably have time for one more set of overhead extensions. 